and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have something really special to share with you. It's a little bit late but I hope that you'll enjoy seeing it anyway. This is one of two mystery diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club. This is brand new, never been done before by this company. I'm here for it. I'm so here for it. If you haven't seen it already, go check out Mrs. Crochet and Coffee's video right here. She unboxed the other one. Now, there is something special about this that I want to keep a secret, and that is the name of the painting. Uh, so, I will tell you that the artist is Joelle McIntyre, and this is a square-shaped diamond painting. It is 88 by 70 centimeters. It's absolutely massive. The box is super heavy, and I've already taken off the wrapper. I wanted to make sure that this stays a mystery to people who want it to remain a mystery while they're working on it. Of course, you can ruin it for yourself, but please don't ruin it for others. Please do not post a picture of what this looks like fully done or the artist's picture of it on the internet. That's just, that's ruining it for other people. So please don't do that. If you want to be completely surprised and you do not want to see the rendering or, you know, the, the canvas of this kit, please click away. Uh, these are only available for a limited time, a limited release. Once they're gone, they are gone. Square shaped diamond paintings come with a toolkit that has tweezers as well as a diamond painting pen, baggies, the uh, squishy that goes on the pen, two plates of wax, a clear translucent diamond painting tray, uh, and a multi-placer. You got everything you need to get started here. This is the sticker that you can attach to the side of the box. Again, I'm hiding the name of this because I really don't want to ruin the surprise for anyone. Um, but this I put on the side of the box. You could put it in your journal or anything like that as well. Let's get into the canvas. You might be wondering, Rachel, why do you have it zoomed in so far? Well, I want to add to the allure of that mystery. So, forgive me <laughs> while, I, while I do this. You have instructions. So if you need help diamond painting, that's there. We also have <laughs> the inventory sheet. I'm trying to be very careful, y'all, okay? You can see here that there are 57 colors in this bad boy and look at all of the symbols. There is no color on this whatsoever. Trying to not give away the surprise. There are four Aurora Borealis diamonds. I'm going to show you the colors here in just a minute. There are four of those in this painting. All I know is that it's seasonal. That's all I know. So this is gorgeous. I like I like these symbols. Hopefully it won't be too, too challenging, but the, the idea is that this will be a lot more challenging uh, than one with colors behind it. So that is part of the mystery as well. Because if you had colors on the diamond painting canvas, then you would know exactly what it is. Let me roll this backwards so that we can have a look. So how are how is your day going? Happy Thursday. Oh my goodness, look at this. Happy Thursday, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my gosh. Let me see. All right. Hang on. Hang on a second. <laughs> I really don't want to ruin it. Wow. <laughs> this this is what I'm talking about. You can't see anything. Oh, by the way, the canvas is still sparkly. That is really cool. This is a square shaped diamond painting because if there were, if it were round, then you would just have white shining up between the diamonds and it would look really weird. Um, in my opinion, anyway, I'm going to show you in kind of like in sections. 
I don't know if you're going to be able to see what it is, but that's the idea is that you can't see what it is. They do have the artist and the name of the painting in the corner. And then they have the legend on both sides as well with the soft canvas. Wow. <laughs> this is a lot. This is a lot. I'm looking around and it seems like there is a lot of confetti in this painting. A lot of color changing. 57 colors isn't too bad, but it's still a lot. Um, and I could make guesses as to what this image is, but I don't want to. I really, really don't want to be told or shown. So please, if you're in the Facebook group that I share with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee, it's called Crafters Anonymous with Mrs. Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray. You can join the group by clicking the link down in the description box, answer the questions, and agree to the rules, and you'll be let in. That's just to, to discourage the bots on Facebook. But, y'all, <laughs> please, please don't ruin this for me. You know why? You know why. You know why. I'll let you guess. <laughs> also, today, something very, very exciting is that you should probably check out my Instagram. Uh, I'm not going to tell you why, but if you are interested in this, if you're like, hmm, I would like to try a mystery, but I'm not so sure, uh, or I don't have the money for it, then maybe you should go check out my Instagram. Oh, this is going to be so cool. All right, let's look. Let's look at the colors. The colors might give you a good indication of what this diamond painting will look like. So there's a lot of blue. I'm surprised. There's a lot of blue. There's some browns and reds and yellow, but I mostly see blue. Let's have a look. Typically, I would show you after this where the Aurora Borealis, the AB diamonds go on the kit, but I'm not going to do that because that would literally take me a thousand years. So let's go through the colors. We've got two bags of 310. These are the new squares. These are, well, these are the new diamonds that Diamond Art Club is making in-house now. Uh, they are fantastic. You can see. I can't wait to show you these. 644. 3325. We've got three bags full. 904. 799. Another three bags of this be beautiful blue. 797. We have two bags. 435. There's two as well. Ooh, here's an AB. So this is Aurora Borealis. Can you see how it has that iridescent coating on it? Makes it shine a little bit brighter. And it is so pretty so pretty. That's sweet corn, right? <laughs> Miss Coffee. 4 we have two bags. 7 we have three. That's our first strip. Let's see, strip number two, 434, 141. There's two bags, and this is another AB Diamond. So pretty. 8 there's two bags of green. 677, 775. Is it just me or are these drills heavier? 796, 433, 310. There's two more bags of 310. <laughs> That's four bags in total so far. Two bags of 37.99, two bags of 648. We've got 738. There's going to be another sneaky bag of 310 in here. <laughs> We've got 762 and 3823 and some drills that did not want to socially distance. 938, we have two bags of that brown. 742, 3371. So we've got two more bags of 3371. I think that, wait, was that 3371? Anyway, 814, 744, we have two bags. 905, 741, 415, 436, 355, 817, 
743, 154, 3350, 347, last strip. 937, 907, 134. Ooh, look at that green AB. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <gasps> look at it. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. 301, 317, 740, 961, 150, 823, 926, 3787, 640, 956, 947, 128. Ooh, that's so pretty. Oh, gorgeous pink. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of pink. I wonder what's going to be pink. Are there flowers? 368, 208, 327. 642 and 3824. Now I'm going to tell you a little secret with this one. I think that the best way to tackle something like this is probably to cover it in the release papers. Diamond Art Club has release papers. They're like a silicon sheet. They sell them on their website. You should definitely pick yourself up a pack. It will last you a lifetime. I'm going to cut those into small pieces and place them onto the canvas so that I can contain my eye to one area because I think that if you kept the clear cover on this and tried to work on it your eyes would go all kinds of cross-eyed that's just me personally you do whatever feels comfortable and right for you but that's what I'm going to do I'm going to cover this and release paper so that my eyes don't go all wonky also, I think it's really important on this kind of a canvas that you order your symbols in the order of the alphabet or the numbers or the symbols, however you want, because it'll be really easy for you to go, okay, there's an E, an uppercase E, and there's a lowercase E, and your brain is going to be like, oh, E, you know, I think it would be a good idea to put these in the order that makes the most sense for you or, you know, use the number system, whatever, whatever works for you, whatever works for you. I hope that this video has been helpful. Um, oh, let me just bring you a close up. So it looks just like their other kits as far as the symbol clarity goes but it is a little bit intimidating <laughs> with all of these symbols with no background color, right? Now, some of you probably know what the picture is. Please, please, please do not write it in the, in the comments. I'm actually going to filter comments so that that particular comment won't come up. I want to save it as a mystery for everybody. So... If you like this, please head over to diamondartclub.com. If you are new to Diamond Art Club, if you never shopped there before, I have some discount codes down below in the description of this video for you if you would like to use them at checkout. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that life is treating you well and that you get plenty of time to craft, diamond paint, chill, relax with family and friends this holiday season. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you all soon in my next video.